you guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome i'm mindy today i thought i would film just a good old-fashioned what i eat in a day on ww i don't think i have put one of these up in a few weeks now about three years ago i lost around 25 pounds working the ww program and i have worked it in several different facets when i first joined over three years ago it was the smart points program which is basically now what the green plan is then they switched over to the freestyle program which is basically what the blue program is and now i predominantly work the purple plan which I love because it focuses a lot on whole unprocessed foods I eat a lot of whole grains you know whole wheat pasta brown rice oatmeal fruits and vegetables lean proteins and I use my 16 daily smart points for this and that mostly things like cheese or meats that are not on the zero point list maybe a treat here or there I don't do as many of these as I used to because I feel like I eat a lot of the same things so if you've seen some of these things before sorry <laughs> if you work WW if you work it for a while you probably understand because we find the things that we like and that work for us and we kind of continue going back to those things but I'll try to come up with something new to show you guys today and per the usual typically when I do these videos at least for the past eight or nine months I've been giving you points breakdowns as best I can and also calories I'll let you know how many calories I'm eating in a day as well I am starting my day with a walk it is already 77 or 78 degrees with almost 90 percent humidity we are in the midst of an unseasonable heat wave. I realize that it's June and it's summer, but the kind of heat we're experiencing the last couple weeks is more like August. And quite frankly, I'm like a little bit angry about it. <laughs> I find myself being like really mad at the weather. So I am out at 7.30 because even though it's kind of humid right now, the sun is just coming up and so it's not like beating down on me and I thought this was a good time to get a walk in. I have not been running as much. I've basically hung up my running shoes for the summer. I am a fair weather runner. I don't like to run in the extreme cold, in the rain, or in the summer heat. So when the weather heats up, I just switch over to walking for a little while and I will probably go back to running whenever we get a weather break sometime in October. <laughs> I typically do around three to four miles a day. Sometimes I break that up with a morning walk and then an evening walk. So I'm just gonna walk as long as I feel good this morning. If I can knock out all three miles, great. If not, then maybe I'll do another after dinner walk but it's been pretty warm even at like 8, 8.30 at night. I have not done a weigh-in video in a while because quite frankly, there's not really anything to tell you guys. I've continued to weigh in. I've continued to use my Happy Scale app, which I love because it gives me kind of a broad spectrum picture instead of just one number on a day when it could be affected by any given thing. It takes several days worth of weigh-ins and averages them out for me. And I am still right there in that four pound range where I have been for the last probably three and a half months. My goal weight with WW is 145 and I have been somewhere between 145 and 149, really around the 147-ish range for pretty much all of this time. I'm pretty happy with that given all that's been going on, given the fact that it's summer and that for some reason I tend to usually put on weight during these months. I'm pretty happy to be kind of hanging out at the top end of my maintenance range. But honestly, I would love to lose a few more pounds. I would love to lose about 10 pounds more. I don't really have any medical reason for that. <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I'm not gonna lie. It's basically vanity and preventative. You know, I'm getting older and I'm starting to kind of feel like, man, it's getting harder for me to get out of bed and stand up and sit on a hard floor for very long. And I feel like if I have a little bit less weight on my joints, surely that's a good thing. But I also am just very aware of my body. And even though I weigh about the same, I feel like my body composition has changed some. And I'm just hanging on to like some stubborn fat in some, some areas. I'm a little fluffy and I would like to not be so fluffy. <laughs> so we'll just see how that goes. I'm just gonna keep working the plan. Come along with me today and I'll show you what I'm eating and what we're up to. Whew, you guys, it is a hot one already. Um, it's only 8.30 and I was sweating at the end of that walk. I'm just gonna start with a cup of coffee. I have been making my coffee in this little tiny coffee pot that I bought at Walmart. I've been trying to switch over to grounds from K-Cups because I'm tired of paying the money for K-Cups. Yes, I know you can buy a little K-Cup insert. It does not make the coffee as well as I would like. I just don't like the taste of it. So I bought this tiny little like four cup coffee pot that I've been using and I really like it. So I've got some coffee brewing now and I'm just going to put some sweetener and some almond milk and my collagen peptides in my coffee. 
And I wanted to let you guys know a trick for getting these if you are a CVS shopper. You know how you get those like 40% off one item coupons or 30% off your total purchase coupons and they don't apply to sale products. So I used to just get rid of them because I was like, you know, this isn't gonna make for a very good deal if I can't use it on anything that's on sale. But what I will do is use one of those coupons when they come my way to purchase some of these collagen peptides and it's, you know, 30 or 40% off of one of these as long as they're not on sale. Sometimes I have some additional coupons too. If you're a CVS shopper, you probably understand what I'm talking about. You get all those coupons sent to your CVS card. Sometimes I have some specifically for a protein powder or you know some kind of vitamin or something that might apply to this. So the last time I went in and purchased these, I dropped the price from $28 to around 10 bucks using all of those <laughs> coupons and stuff. So if you are a CVS shopper and you are a person who takes collagen peptides, I just thought I would throw that out there as a little trick if you are trying to think about how you can get them for a little bit cheaper because they can be kind of pricey. I hopped in the shower and got cleaned up and I'm still working on my coffee. I've got my water, my big cup of water Anita would be so proud of me I got my water Anita and I made myself some savory oats I originally got this idea from Jamie over at Just Jamie Allison I will try to leave her channel linked up here I had never thought about oatmeal being anything but sweet I thought it's the kind of thing you add peanut butter to or sweeteners or fruit or something like that but she was talking one day on her channel about making savory oats and I thought Huh, I had never thought about that before. And I make my savory oats the way I make grits. So if you are a cheese grit fan and you are looking for a WW friendly version, this is it. Especially if you're on the purple plan because oatmeal, plain oatmeal is zero points. So I make my oatmeal, you know, everybody has their way of making oatmeal, whether it's in the microwave or on the stove, how much, how little, how runny, how thick, whatever. And then I add a tablespoon of this Greek cream cheese. I find it at Walmart. I've also seen it, I think at Sprouts. And I add half an ounce of sharp cheddar cheese, some salt and pepper. And I'm telling you, it has the taste and consistency of cheese grits to me. So that's what I'm having. It's only gonna cost me three smart points on the purple plan. I believe if you were on one of the other plans, it would cost you seven smart points because you would have to pay for the oatmeal. And I just used a regular standard serving of oatmeal, which is half a cup dry. The kids are out of the house today. They're in childcare. I've got the house to myself and I've got some housework to do and a whole bunch of channel work to do. I've got my computer here. So I'm just going to eat this oatmeal while I am, you know, doing some computer work and stuff and then I'll check in with you guys again very soon. Just had to step outside for a minute. I feel like I'm going to need to get my steps in like small increments today, like maybe just walk to the end of my street and back several times throughout the day <laughs> as I take a break from sitting at my desk and my computer or doing whatever it is I'm doing around the house. I did manage to get two miles in this morning, but it's heating up fast. But I find that when I'm in the air conditioning, especially in this heat, I get kind of chilly inside and I like to step outside in the warm sun for a few minutes and it just kind of makes me feel better. I don't know what's going on, but sometimes if I sit at my computer for too long, especially if I'm you know, staring at a screen and doing computer work, I start to feel like a little bit nauseated. Is that weird? I mean, I, I get motion sickness, but if I'm just sitting still staring at a computer screen, I don't know why I would start to feel like a little nauseous or nauseated or whatever the right <laughs> word is there. I never could figure that one out. So I find that stepping outside and just getting a little fresh air kind of helps me feel a little bit better and maybe walk around the house and move the laundry, do stuff like that that I need to do, make the bed. I'm ashamed to say I didn't make the bed until just now and it's noon. I should have made it first thing this morning, but I walked out of the room and just forgot. So I'm just getting a few steps in. When I get back, I might have a little watermelon, which is zero points, but just tie me over until lunchtime. I just got back from running a couple errands and I am simultaneously working on lunch and dinner. I need to warn you guys that you are probably going to see pasta twice today because I'm changing up my dinner plan. I had planned to do some baked potatoes. I'm kind of doing a use it up challenge, which you will see probably in a few days go up on my channel. I have some potatoes that I need to use up. So I was gonna make some baked potatoes and then make like a really simple lightened up beef and refried bean chili to go on top of them. But it is like 97 degrees outside and I'm just not feeling a chili baked potato. And so I decided to throw together like a chicken taco pasta salad that I can make up before I have to go and pick up the kids and then leave it in the refrigerator to 
chill for several hours before we eat it. I just thought that that served with some veggies and some fruit would be much more refreshing than chili baked potatoes, especially since we're gonna be spending some time running around this evening because the kids have activities. So you'll see that later, but for now I'm fixing myself some lunch. I've been really craving some carbonara and you may have seen this before on my channel. The way that I do this is I cook some pasta and then I drain it. And while the pasta is still hot, I put it back in the pot and I put my raw egg in with it and mix it up and cover it. And the heat from the pasta and the steam from the pot actually cook the egg. And then I'm going to put in one piece of chopped bacon. I have some bacon from my butcher box that I'm trying to use up. That will be two smart points a piece. So far, everything else is zero, right? The egg and the whole wheat pasta for me on purple is zero. And I'm going to top that with some cottage cheese. I'll probably add some salt and pepper, garlic salt as well. But you guys know how much I love good culture cottage cheese. I've been talking about this stuff for like, I don't know, eight, nine months now. And normally I like the full fat, but these little 2% ones were at Target and there was a really great Ibotta rebate. So I picked up a couple of them and this whole container is only two smart points. I had one the other day and it's really, really good. So that's what I'm going to top my pasta with. And then I think I'm gonna have just a side of green beans with that so I can get a serving of veggies in and that will be my lunch. If there is ever a time for Sonic, it is days like today. I've got the munchkins in the car with me. Just pick them up and I have a vanilla lime diet Coke. So McKenna, what do you have? I have a cranberry slush. Cranberry slush and Ruthie has an ocean water and Brick also has. No! What do you have, Brick? It's the same thing as me. No, he doesn't. Brick has a cranberry slush. She's just being annoying. <laughs> That's what little brothers are supposed to do, right? Sorry, it's a little dark now, you guys. I'm just trying to get a few more steps in before the end of the day. We've actually had a little break in the heat. Um, it feels so much better. We had some kind of rain front or something come through to the north of us. And I was out watching one of Brick's T-ball games and thinking, man, it's gonna be so hot. But we actually got a little bit of a breeze and just a little bit of a break. I didn't get to tell you guys what I was having for dinner because I took it with me to eat while I was at the game. I made sort of like a taco pasta salad with pasta, corn, pinto beans, tomatoes, green chilies, a little red onion. And then I made like a dressing for it from Greek yogurt and ranch dressing mix and taco seasoning and a little bit of milk. And I mixed that all up and put it in the fridge so that we could have something kind of cool and refreshing. And the only thing that is worth points on that would have been the Greek yogurt because I used whole milk Greek yogurt because I'm on purple. All of that stuff that I mentioned is zero points. It was probably only a couple points per serving for me, but I did have it with some tortilla chips. So that added two points because I had half a serving of tortilla chips. And then I just had some steamed veggies with it on the side. So that was my dinner. And I'm just going to enjoy the breeze and try to get a few more steps in. And then I think I'm gonna have like a little dessert, a little treat. Hey, you guys, no surprises here. It is the next morning. It seems like every time I try to daily vlog, I just run out of steam at the end of the day or we just get busy, you know, with kids stuff and activities. Brick had a t-ball game last night, Ruthie had swim. So we just got busy and I didn't vlog as much. And what happened is at the end of the day, I had planned to go for a little stroll and then come in and make like a little banana and ice cream or like a smoothie bowl. So I had it all planned, I had it all tracked. And when I got back, I ended up talking to my sister on the phone for an hour. <laughs> so it's your fault. It's your fault, Angie, if you're watching. And I came inside from the porch and it was 10 o'clock. <laughs> I just didn't realize it. And the entire house was in bed. And my ninja is so loud, I can't, you know, I didn't want to make that treat for myself and wake the entire house. So I ended up just having some Greek yogurt. It's whole milk Greek yogurt. And I had a third of a cup, I think, which is two points. And then I had a little bit of chopped up mango and a little sprinkling of granola for one point. So I ended up having a little three smart point late night treat slash snack. I believe that put me right at 16 points on purple and that would be my daily target. And I think had I been on blue, I would have come out to around 27 points. My daily target would be 23 on blue. And I think on green, I would have come out to 32 points for the day when my target is 30. But the interesting thing is that when I tracked my calories, I only made it to around 1600 calories and I try to get close to 1700. I've been talking about this for months and months and months, calories versus points and how I try to be very careful to make sure that I'm still, you know, eating a decent amount of food. I've talked about this in several videos. I'll link one up here where I talked about 
my metabolism and metabolic adaptation and all that kind of stuff and why I try to keep my caloric um, intake fairly high even for weight loss. One thing I want to say and I want to get better about saying this in all my videos preferably at the beginning is that even though I have worked this particular program I think for a while I am not an expert really in anything but I'm certainly not an expert in weight loss and I'm not a dietitian. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a doctor or a medical professional. I'm just a person sharing my own experiences. And if there is a little nugget of something somewhere in my videos that helps you or inspires you or gives you an idea, then I'm all about that. But I hope that you guys know that you don't have to do what I do. You don't have to eat what I eat. Everybody is starting at a different place. Some people need to eat more processed things. Some people prefer to eat more protein and fewer carbs, and some people prefer to eat more carbs and less protein. I really truly believe that we're all different. We all have to figure out what our bodies respond well to. I also want to say that I didn't arrive at this way of eating overnight. It took me years of making small changes and little baby steps and kind of discovering what healthy eating and even what clean-ish eating means to me, but I'm still working on things. I'm not perfect. And I'm still trying to make changes to the way that I'm doing things. And just, you know, trying to work towards my own personal health goals and discovering things about what I like and what works well for my body as I move forward. Thanks so much for coming along. Leave me a comment and let me know how you guys are doing. And I will be sure to check in with you guys again very soon. Bye.